So picture this, it's 1985 and you finally decide to buy yourself your first new car. You could buy yourself a brand new Honda Civic, or if you want something sporty, you could go for a Ford EXP Coupe. You could also go for the Yugo GV, which is known for being one of the worst cars of all time. A few days later, you realize that these cars are all terrible. First off, these cars are just way too expensive. The cheapest car that you look at is a Yugo GV, which costs $4,000, which is still, of course, a lot of money in 1985. So you go ahead and build your own car. It's not just going to be any car either. It's going to be the best American car possible with all the fancy technology American cars have, like having doors and four wheels and brakes. Yeah, this car is gonna be pretty terrible. What's up guys? My name is Rai and welcome back to some more automation and of course FemenG Drive. We are building ourselves a car from a garage basically. This is gonna be the lowest horsepower possible in a car that still functions perfectly fine. So the goal of today's video is to make a very, very cheap car and drive it in FemenG Drive. You might be thinking, Rai, this sounds like an absolutely terrible idea. And you're right, that this idea is terrible, but it sounds terribly fun. Building a car is expensive. So I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Yahaha. Yahaha is a user-generated content creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences. With Yahaha, literally anyone can create and publish their own virtual experiences with zero coding experience required. They also have simple tools, features, and smart assets to make your dream games come true. If you guys are also interested, they host regular live sessions for the community to help creators enhance their metaverse building skills. You can follow them on Twitch or check out their previous sessions on YouTube. Yahaha also supports multiplayer playing simultaneously so you and your friends can join games and other 3D immersive events. It's also a great place to make new friends. So stop what you're doing right now and check out Yahaha today. Again, a huge shout out to them for sponsoring the video, but now let's get back to automation. Obviously this body in front of us is, I think it's actually a Yugo body, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a Yugo body. Maybe it's a Fiat, I actually don't know. So the year is 1985, we've got several materials at our disposal. We're gonna go ahead and choose steel because it's very cheap and this car is gonna be very cheap. It's gonna be a monocoque chassis type, which is the cheapest and pretty much best chassis you could get gonna be a steel chassis material front mounted transverse engine because it's gonna be front wheel drive i don't know why you'd have anything else mac pearson struts up front and we can go for maybe torsion beam or semi trailing arm i'm actually not sure which one's cheaper the engine this is gonna be a fun thing this is gonna be a very very advanced engine to be very cheap obviously guys uh and by very advanced i mean it's gonna be very very tiny it's gonna be a 236 cc engine so a 0 0.236 liter 0.2 this engine is less than a liter in size, which is smaller than like every car ever. We're gonna go ahead and yoink this down here to minus 15 for now. Nothing says America like cast iron. Now guys, you have to remember it's 1985, so this is during the Cold War. So instead of buying a communist built Yugo, you could buy yourself a nice capitalist built car by me. We're gonna go ahead though and make this just a little bit smaller of an engine because 236 cc wasn't small enough. And now it's 134 cc's. It is 0 0.13 liters, which is basically a lawnmower engine. We're gonna go ahead and just yoink that down to minus 15 as well now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to five to one compression ratio. We will keep the cam profile at a very reasonable one because uh, you know it's it's more than zero, and zero is bad, and one is good. These springs and lifters. You might be thinking zero as well. Well, no, it's actually gonna be like 100 because that's actually better. Also minus 15 quality here and maybe a reasonable 4,300 RPM rev limit. We're gonna go for no turbo, obviously. It's gonna be a single barrel eco carb, but the smallest of literally everything, compact. So we're gonna go for compact low headers, the smallest size, small size exhaust, which is a tiny half an inch, which is very, very, very small. We're gonna go for a high flow cat, just kidding, just a regular three-way cat, and then reverse flow, reverse flow, and minus 15 quality. So right off the bat here, the engine makes a whopping 0.4 horsepower. 0.4. It actually pollutes a lot. 1900 emissions, which is a lot of emissions. The engine has a thermal efficiency of 0.2%, which is terrible. That is so terrible. 
We're going to go ahead, though, and lower the rev limit down to maybe like 3,700 RPM. So it still makes, you know, a 0.3 horsepower, which is not bad at, uh, at peak RPM. This car has a top speed of 8 kilometers per hour. 8 kilometers. We could honestly probably just go for a 2 speed because it, it just doesn't matter at this point. A 2 speed manual gearbox. So a 5 speed is a bit better. A 5 speed might actually work a little better only because I like to have a few overdrive gears if possible. We'll play around with that. I might do a 2 speed. I might do a 5 speed. But top speed is geared to 55 kilometers an hour. We could actually go probably lower the RPM a bit and that'll actually change our top speed. So if we go to 3300, our top speed now is 49 and our gearing changes now to nine kilometers an hour, which is better. Our long life tires, we're gonna go for some pretty small tires, maybe 105 millimeter wide, which is, uh, yeah, that's pretty small. That's pretty small. We'll go for 10 inch wheels though. No wonder Troy for us, no cooling either because cooling is, is for the Soviets. Minus 15 quality there as well. It's going to be a six seater to transport as many Americans as possible for as little money as possible. Apparently it's going to be a standard interior though, which is pretty fancy. But minus 15 quality and no entertainment. Entertainment is an optional extra. The six seats, however, are not. Recirculating ball steering, which is terrible, but it's going to have that. That's the steering we actually need. And we'll go for standard 1970s safety, but we'll go for like a minus, a minus five quality. This car is going to be quite safe. For American standards at least and we're gonna go for standard springs twin tube and before any tweaks this thing weighs only 1700 pounds it gets zero mpg because uh I actually don't know why that's very strange that's very American though so this fits this car has no prestige no comfort no sportings no no drivability but it does have 50 reliability which you know that's that's not bad that's not bad guys so the actual approximate cost the sale price of this car is 3090 US dollars got 0.4 horsepower it weighs 1700 pounds which is actually quite heavy i feel like its economy is is not applicable there is no economy in this car apparently it's got a pretty great weight distribution at 52 front and 48 rear which is actually pretty impressive but i think the basics of this car are done now this is probably not the most american american car but it's going to be the most american 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 car i i don't actually know what that means i was just sort of rambling on there either way i think the basics are done so what I will do now is design the car in a short time lapse, and then we're going to hop into BMG Drive and drive the car. I'm also going to make a second version off camera, probably. I'll tell you guys about it in BMG. It'll be slightly tweaked with probably a little more horsepower because this car, quite frankly, is going to suck. So sit back, relax, guys. And of course, I hope you enjoy. So we're starting the design for my 1985 super cheap American hatchback. Uh, and this is going to be sort of similar to the Yugo in style, of course, in value, etc. So we've got these sort of rectangular headlights and a very rectangular grille, which I do change uh, up quite a bit here. I make the front end a bit more flat and stuff. I add some sort of square mesh grille. I make my own actual custom grille, at least partially in the front, with some sort of details in the grille as well with some rectangle headlights. One single wiper off to the driver's side or passenger side. I actually can't remember which side that's on, if this is right or left-handed. I have one scoop. For the air intake, we've got an exhaust or a gas cap right by the front of the car. We've got some trim on the side. We've got a push button to open the door, nothing else, no handles, and a big old bumper with turn signals built in. The back end is pretty simple, adding a big old bumper in the back of the car itself as well, adding more details to the front, adding some taillights. We did add a license plate to the car already, and now all that's really left is to add big details here. We've got a spare tire, which is an off-road style tire, adding an exhaust tip, uh, adding some more details in the back, like a Made in USA badge, which I find hilarious on this car. And of course, the car name. This is the Amera Value. Adding a brand logo to the middle of the cup, to the middle of the car, and some more details to the back of the car. Changing the color. And in front of us is the 1985 AAC Amera Value.
So we're finally in BMG Drive. One of the cars doesn't actually work. So if we go to our vehicles here in BMG Drive, we've got both of our cars, okay? We've got the Amera Less Value and the Amera Value. So the Less Value is the four horsepower version of the Amera. It's also four wheel drive with a few tweaks and changes. It's not really too much change, but just a few tweaks and changes. So it's a four wheel drive and slightly higher quality. Uh, the value is now 4,600 versus the Amera Values value, which is 3300 So it's about $1,000 more value. So if you spawn in the Amera Value, and I'm already getting sick of saying value. So here it is. I want to point out that the, the car doesn't work. It just doesn't, the engine just, just doesn't spawn in. Uh, I've tried to modify the, JB, the J-Beam file a bit to get it working to no avail. So I think it's got, it's got too little horsepower to really function properly. And it's kind of glitching out. Also, the car looks so dinky in BMG Drive. I love it. But... There is good news. If we hop into the Amera Less Value, and it's called the Less Value because it's got less value than the Amera, it works a bit better. So it actually runs here. The idle is about 1700 RPM, which is hilarious for this thing. It makes about 4.2 horsepower or so, about 8 pound feet of torque. So it's not, you know, the most powerful car. It's still a 5 speed manual with tight gearing. Top speed is estimated to be, I think it's like 80 kilometers an hour. What we're going to do is do a top speed run with this car because I want to see the top speed of this car. I also want to point out there's no interior. The interior is an optional extra for the Amera because, you know, it's the cheapest car that you could buy in America. And it's, it's the value car, although the less value car, it's still a value car. And if we just rev it up here nice and high and drop into first gear, that's how we drive the car. That's how we drive it. Imagine taking the drive to the street. It's so depressing. And it revs so loud. It, it revs quite high. 6,500 RPM is quite high. We are still going for a 0 to 100. We're at 40 kilometers an hour now. It's been 20 seconds. It's still accelerating. We're doing 53 kilometers now. I think we're going to downshift. We can't even downshift. We are stuck in third gear at 53 kilometers an hour. 54? I'm, uh, I did a test run, of this, and, and this car went quite a bit faster than that, so we're going to keep going here. Two hours later. So it seems like after driving for literally a hundred seconds, the car has achieved around 59.5 kilometers an hour, which is like, yeah, it's 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 not fast. It's, it's it's like 40 miles an hour. We are not going fast. This is a very un-American, American, American car. Very quickly, it stops from top speed in 2.1 seconds, which is pretty gosh darn good. I think this would be a great city car. Uh, I want to hop into like a, a short track and I want to see how the Amera does. Uh, it, it's not, it's going to be horrible, but honestly, might as well, might as well try it. So we're finally here. This is the East Coast USA street course. Now I feel like street course is a bit of a stretch. It's just like a city street that's blocked off. Uh, but honestly, this car is basically a stretch at being a car as well because it's got four horsepower. Yeah. So uh, we're going to do this track and, and see how the Amera does. It's, it's not going to go good. But we're going to try it anyways. We're going to launch it here, take it off arcade mode. Thrilling. Truly thrilling, exciting start this is. Oh, we're getting downhill now. <laughs> this is where it gets serious. You know, sometimes I wonder if there's any joy left in this world. And then I drive this car. And all the joy's gone. Down to third gear. Oh, this is exciting now. We're coming up to a slope here. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, we only slowed down five kilometers an hour. That's not too bad. Oh my gosh, it oversteers a bit though. It oversteers a bit. We're gonna go to second gear. Oh wow, it oversteers. Oh my gosh, it oversteers. <laughs> this car can drift. How can this car drift? This car's got four horsepower. We're, we're gonna drift these bales here. Ready, guys? Okay, I almost hit that bale somehow at 40 kilometers an hour. That was not my fault. The bale jumped out in front of me. Okay. <laughs> I hit the pole. Doing 40 kilometers an hour. Am, am I a bad driver? Or, or is it just... This is just the game, I feel like. Wait. I'm stuck on the curb. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is uphill with no speed. I'm actually pretty concerned right now. We're slowing down. That's not good. Okay. This is not good. We're gonna launch it here. We're gonna brake boost from full revs. 6,500 RPM launch. We're dropping the clutch. I actually wasn't even holding in the clutch. I was just holding the brakes. Which is probably bad, better. I genuinely don't think I've ever made a better car in, in my life. This car is, this car is just, just personifies America. I'm not sure how, but you know what it does. Finishing at a brisk 24 kilometers an hour with a time 
of 2 minutes and 57 seconds. You know what? I almost got a podium finish here. I almost got third place on my all-time record, only losing by 59 seconds. So, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty close. I feel like that's pretty close, you know. So lastly, we're here at the Jump Arena with the Amero, which is, of course, the best American car ever made. Uh, we're going to jump this car and see how it does. I, I don't think it's going to do very well, but we're going to go ahead and give it our best shot. Now, I don't think this car is really going to make it much farther past the ramp itself. Again, huge shout out to Yahaha for sponsoring the video. Make sure to check them out. Link is in the description down below. Well, look at that fifth gear. Not bad. 140. This is, this is pretty scary. We're going to clutch in here. At 180, we're clutching in. 190 kilometers there. That's scary. That's scary. Oh, can, we actually, can we stick landing? We're not going to stick landing. Oh! Oh! No, no, that was so close. It's not good. Come on, Amara. Look at that. And it's got actually amazing brakes. That was a landing. Look at this thing. This is a tough little car. I actually got... Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's a look. That's a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys next time.